So as many of you guys know, my primary job is being a video editor. I'm now also becoming more of like a videographer, helping behind the camera with cinematography, lighting and all this other stuff. So I'm learning a lot. And with all those skill sets, I need to be able to do my job, regardless if it's on a desktop or kind of on the go. And as said in the title, what I want to talk about is my portable workstation. So what I do, if I have to edit, whether it be here at Tom's or if I have to go somewhere else, it doesn't matter where, I need to be able to carry everything I need and work efficiently. So as you can see, I have a couple of things laid out here on the table, but let's just get right into it. And let's just talk about the crown jewel, what I mainly use all the time for editing is gonna be my laptop here. So this right here is the 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the one that has 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage and a core i9 at I believe it's 2.8 or 2.9 gigahertz. So basically this is what I edit with all the time if I'm not at home. And I gotta be honest, this has been pretty good. Now keep in mind, I know as well as a lot of you who probably are into tech that this laptop has a lot of problems, a lot of them that still persist and are still on on my case every time when I use this laptop, but it's nothing that I can't work around and nothing that like just keeps me from using this device. So like I said, I have the Core i9 version and this still overheats to this day, whether it be editing, rendering, you know, processing stuff in After Effects, like this thing is still gonna overheat. Now, it isn't a problem where like it's affected my workflow to where it, like this specifically delayed me in terms of getting a, a product out on time. It's not nothing like that. It's just one of those things that it stinks that it exists. Same with the butterfly switches, as much as like Apple try to push it and we all try to using it, we still got those issues. Some people have issues where like the E would double. My specific problem is like that the space bar double spaces all the time. I have to like jam it sometimes to get it to work or I just use a Bluetooth keyboard that I do have available to me. But like to sum everything up, like I still very much enjoy the laptop. I enjoy using it the way I use it is fine. Like I said, this is mainly portable on the go stuff. If I need something that's very intensive or I know it's very important, I just go on my desktop and do it. All right, so that is my laptop of choice for work. Uh, don't feel like I'm gonna switch soon unless I have enough money to do so. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna start over here now with the Logitech mouse that I own. So this is the MX Anywhere 2S mouse. So not only is it very pretty, it fits in my hand super comfortably and the battery life is amazing, which is the biggest reason why I bought it. So if you guys are interested interested in this mouse, I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested. But the point is, if you're looking for a nice portable mouse, I mean, this is what I use. I've been using like the Anywhere series for quite a while now, so I really recommend it to you guys as well. All right, now this bag right here, this isn't even the right bag for this, but uh, so basically these are my very, very entry uh, audio technicas that I use for editing. And these are noise canceling, but they're like entry noise canceling headphones. Now I gotta admit, I don't necessarily like these that much. <laughs> if you're interested in noise canceling headphones, I wouldn't recommend these, which by the way, are the ATH ANC 700 BT. Yeah, that's a long name. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below to these as well. But the point is I got them. I wanted to try noise canceling headphones, but wasn't too sure if I wanted to go fully and like spend a lot of money. After buying these, I will say this, these are not the worst thing in the world, meaning if you're an average person, and when I say average, I mean you use it just for like music and occasional movie streams and stuff. Like these are gonna work just fine. But the problem that I have is again, being someone who does this for a living and sometimes the noise canceling isn't as good as I'd like it, I would really like to switch these. Uh, so maybe one day I will, again, when I have enough dough, but yeah. So these are basically what I carry and use. All right, so next we're gonna go to the external hard drive that essentially we use all the time. So this is a SanDisk Extreme, Extreme portable SSD. This is a one terabyte. This is also the first gen because there's two versions of these. Now this isn't specifically mine, but this is what Tom and I use all the time when we have to transfer footage. If one of us needs to edit off of it or something, we use these specifically. The one I bought that will be here either today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow, is a second generation where the transfer speed is twice as fast as this, which is amazing. I literally have nothing but good things to say about this. So I highly recommend anyone who's interested in very, very reliable fast storage, or at least external storage, for editing, photography, or anything, look into these. I'll leave a link down below as well. Yeah, this is just great. I, yeah, I like them. All right, now last but not least, this is my IO Gear USB-C 3-in-1 card reader. So essentially, this is a SD card, micro SD, and a CFast card reader. All I do with this is literally just plug it into the MacBook Pro or my desktop in that case, plug in the cards, and I'm good to go to transfer footage. 
But all right guys, so that's basically it. So that's literally what I carry with me in my bag. Of course, on occasion, I will carry like a tablet with me as well, but like this is primarily for work reasons. So if you have any recommendations, maybe you want me to talk about something else, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. And of course, if I make any upgrades throughout the year, I will make an updated video just because I feel it would be good to share my experiences as well as why I might've changed one of these things. So that's pretty much gonna be it. I mean, there's nothing else I carry for work. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you got something to say, leave it down in the comment section. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Feel free to subscribe for future videos. What am I doing with my hand? And if you have anything you want me to review or talk about, let me know down in the comment section. There are a couple products and a couple things that are coming out shortly that I will definitely talk about. And one big hint that I cannot actually give you because I don't have them on me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.